Hi, welcome to Learn How to Garden on this fantastic spring day in March. What I'm going to talk to you about today is perpetual spinach. If you've always had trouble growing spinach, this is the one for you. If you're new to Learn How to Garden, click on the link above me right now and pop in an email address. You get to see the written post at Learn How to Garden. We'll let you know every single time we put up a new film. You can get to see the courses we run in depth at Learn How to Garden and what our unique gardening club is all about. If you have trouble growing spinach and um, it bolts really quickly, which spinach can, one of the things you could think about growing is this tremendous plant here. This is perpetual spinach and um, it's a much easier plant to grow. You can sow the seeds now and you can grow it in one of two ways. The plants here are about 12 inches, 30 centimetres apart and you just pick the leaves as you go along as you need them and uh, I think they have a slightly more subtle flavour than spinach itself. Or you can grow them really, really successfully as cut and come again when you would take the bed and you would broadcast your seeds and when they're about five to six inches high you just cut through them with a pair of scissors and then they will re-sprout or grow back again. It's a, a really forgiving vegetable um, and one that will produce quite happily for 10 months, sometimes a year. Easy to start off, just put a drill across the bed itself, water into that drill, scatter your seeds along the drill, trying to keep them a couple of centimetres apart and then let them germinate when they are five, six centimetres high, thin them out, use those thinnings in the kitchen. And what you're doing is you're eventually trying to get this 30 centimetre spacing when you allow the plants to grow. If they start to put up a flower spike, chop off that flower spike and you'll probably still get another two to three months of growth out of your perpetual spinach.